looking for you, Yakov. Moses Shackles presents his compliments and wants you to go to him at once. Ah, oh, Rothschild, I'm in no mood for your nonsense. Leave me alone. Oh, how can you say that? Moses will be very angry. He wants you to come at once. What do you mean by pestering me? Get away. Don't you let me like that or I'll send you flying over the fence. Moses Shackles will see you immediately. Away with you, Rothschild. There's no living this in town with mangy curs like you. Don't hit me. You're such a bad man. You really need to know how to control your temper. How will you crush child? Walking and swimming to and fro before me the sun shines fiercely and the water sparkles so brightly that it's almost painful to look at it. In the distance I can see some little boys fishing for crabs. Yes, this must be the exact spot. The willow tree looks so peaceful and sad. How old it has grown and how wide the trunk. A crow's nest sits in the branches which hang down to the calm surface of the water. I can see it now. It's so clear in my memory. I can see the little child with golden curls. This is the very same willow. Across from this spot on the other side of the river. There used to be a wood of tall birch trees, and that pale on the horizon Terrible news about my past. Women 
judgments rushed at me from all the directions. I saw my late wife and the Rothschild towering in fear, as well as the wind image of a tiny child with golden hair. All of these images circled on my hand continuously. I must be coming down with a fever or a fool. It took a great deal of effort to get here this morning, in all honesty. I see, then I guess I'll be on my way. Good day, Ethel. I shall probably never see you again. That may well be. Good day. to pay any taxes. What bliss! There would be no losses, only gains. I wouldn't owe any money. And nor would I offend people. A man lies in his grave for hundreds of thousands of years. The sum of his profits would be immense, as he no longer has any losses. Therefore, as I see it, life is a loss, and death is a gain. How distressingly sad. Why should the world be so strangely arranged that a man's life, which was only given to him once, must pass without profit. should be shared 
Whereas it has always been such a private interest for me. Maybe this is one of my great losses. I will never see the sun rise with Martha or the beautiful willow tree by the river. All the things I hold here will vanish and I will leave this earth with nothing. I must enjoy the remaining moments I have in this life through the art of music. 